Well, y'all been asking for it. Ken, why don't you do something about the Whopper? Well, we finna find out I ain't been through a Burger King drive up window since probably 15 years ago. Yes, ma'am, give me the number two. Would you think that is the best Whopper y'all got, sugar? Uh, well, yes, if you like jalapenos and all of this. Oh, right? yes, ma'am, darling, just pile them on there. This is even more of a challenge to me being an Okie when they call it the Texas Double Whopper. Let's see what we got in here, Mage. Yeah, we can already see two pieces of meat, Mage. Some cheese, some bacon, jalapenos. The biggest thing I get here is from some of the jalapenos. Uh, the meat needs to have some seasoning to it, but uh, I really think we can do a little research and uh, we can beat the king on this one, I think. So excited for this video, I am. Ooh, been craving me a good burger. But first, a little housekeeping. People have been asking me, how do I take care of my cast iron? How do I clean it? How do I season it? Folks, be sure and go over there on our YouTube channel and check out our cast iron playlist. It will keep you looking really good with your cast iron. It will answer all your questions. People ask me also, what's your favorite boot? What kind of boot do you wear? Well, folks, I am telling you right now that I'll be wearing these Ariats, and these have been my favorite boots that I've ever worn. Go right into the store and just pick them out put them on and walk out of there doing the two-step and the hidey ho because it make my feet feel good. But I'd like to thank Ariat for sponsoring this video because folks, they keep me always looking good and comfortable. Boots are comfortable, shirts are comfortable, britches are comfortable. Be sure and check out the link below because they'll have these favorites listed that are on our page of what I'm wearing. But also, I really like the wrinkle-free shirts because I hate to iron. I really do, and I can't get none of the dogs to iron for me. So check out all the stuff that Eric's got. We thank them again for sponsoring this video, but I am craving me a burger, so let's get started. Burger King and the Whopper. I had to drive two hours to find the nearest Burger King to me, so this thing may not look as fresh as it once did, but I'm gonna give you a little peek right here at the first, okay? And we didn't eat it on the way home, but I want to show people something. There was a full order of fries in here, Shan, but I'm thinking I ate those. maybe so Mage and Shan eat them. But Burger King has made a promise always, flame broiled burgers. Whopper, 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 the flame grill taste with perfect toppers, I rule this day really gives them a unique taste to me so I now, which ordered, one did you order I ordered the Texas double Whopper burger and I just want to take a look in here and see you know Burger King is probably my favorite fast food burger they do make a good burger you can look in here and you can see two patties of meat I see me some onions pickles but they claim to have this special sauce on there which is sort of like a spicy barbecue sauce but look here, I see something that I'm really proud of down in here, and that's little bits of jalapeno. Now, I like a jalapeno on a burger. There is some bacon here with it, and they claim to have really good USDA choice meat there. So, let's see how the cowboy can stack up to the Burger King. Well, first thing come along is that special sauce they got on that Texas Whopper. Now, me and Shan both thought when we had a bite, it's a little bit of a, just a hint of heat there, but not much. I wouldn't call it spicy. So we got about a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise in there. And I'm gonna put me some mustard in there, which is about that much, and some ketchup. And we're gonna add us some lean parings. And to that, we're gonna add some rib rub or any of your spice of your favorite barbecue rub because we need that little tanginess that's gonna put in there. Break out your whisk, make it, set it in the icebox, chill till you get it all ready to go. Y'all have heard me talk about it in many videos using ground beef that I'm using 80-20 ground chuck. Now, folks, I went all out on the limb today and you can go to the store and buy you some regular ground beef 80-20. 
So I picked me up a chuck roast weighed three pounds and eight ounces. It's got a lot of fat content in it and a lot of marbling, so that's what we need. So we're going to grab our own ground chuck. That way it's really a fresher meat to me, and it's always going to leave a better taste. I like to chill it in the freezer about 45 minutes. That way it's going to go through that grinder pretty good. Go ahead and slice it, chunk it to where you can grind it. After you get it ground one time, then I want you to take eight slices of thick cut bacon, chunk them up, grind them too, because I want that extra juice in there, that extra flavor that that bacon. Now you noticed on the Texas Whopper, it had bacon on top, it did. But guess what? We got bacon on the inside, we're gonna have bacon on the outside. We're gonna double up on the bacon. You can't never get too much bacon. So after you get it ground once, run it back through that grinder again. It's gonna give you a better texture of meat when you get ready to make it and then just get you about six ounces to eight ounces of beef, roll them up in a ball, put them in a patty. I've got mine in the fridge in there in the barn chilling. We'll break them out here in a minute. Now y'all may have seen a short that we did recently about going to the Oso Grill there in Capitan and they had them green chilies deep fried put on that burger. Well that sort of gave me a hanker and it did. I'm not using a green chili, I'm using a poblano. Now you see me throw it on the grill over and get it all roasted up good. And then we just put it into one of them little Walmart sacks or whatever you got with a little water to let it steam. That way that peeling will come off of it oh so easy. And you can see how most of that just sloughs right off. This will be some of the last it will on the, the burger topping, but I need to go ahead and get these sliced. And I'm probably going to put, I'd say maybe three strips on there. And you can make them as big as you want. I'm going to leave them about like that. Got the Legacy Grill fired up, we do. Got a little hardwood lump, and then I got some oak and a little bit of cherry wood in there as we go. Oil that grill up really well. You can see them patties is pretty big. They're about nearly seven ounces. Never season ground beef and let it set. It's gonna dry that meat out. Season it right before you cook it. Got them patties seasoned with our original seasoning. If you don't have some, hey, you can use salt and pepper, garlic powder, whatever you got. Let's get them on there. I am getting hungry. Now, Burger King is flame broiled, and when I was trying to look around, do a little research, and sort of spy back in that kitchen where I got that one, thing sort of comes off like a conveyor belt in this convection oven, and then hits this broiler and goes across their open flame, and then it slides down this little slide like an amusement park, and it's ready to go on the bun. I don't I have know all that. them fancy operations. I don't. We're gonna do it the old-fashioned way, over a fire, but. Their burgers really, I'm like Shan, there's that unique flavor that they bring out when they sort of flame broil them there. Cause uh, uh, I do like some fire in a burger and I think they have great taste in theirs. Some quick burger tips for y'all you're cooking. Number one really is don't season till you get ready to cook. Number two is make sure that that grill is really well oiled and then don't be afraid to flip it. A lot of people think, hey, I'm gonna leave that on there. I can't flip it till that side is done. Hey, I like to check my burgers as they're cooking along. Now, I don't want you to mash it. This is not a smash burger. Just be sure that your fire is good and hot and where you want it. Probably gonna go about three minutes on one side, turn it over and get that other in about two. Ground beef really should be to a temperature of about 160 along in there if you need to probe it with the thermometer. While that's cooking, we went ahead and buttered them buns and we'll put them down here on the low end of the fire. Well, them burgers is over there resting, they are. Got me a little flour, two cackleberries we're gonna do here. Give them a little shaking up. You wanna get that. You can use milk and egg. You can use butter, milk and egg. Probably I'd say pretty close to a cup of flour. We're gonna just put some of our original on there. Give it a little mixing. You remember them poblanos that we roasted and peeled? We're gonna put them right down here in this egg and milk mixture we are. Then they're gonna go into the flour and y'all have seen the chicken fried steak videos, y'all know what's fit to happen. We're gonna double baptize them, we are. So back in here it goes, back over here. That's gonna give us that good crust on them. Shake that excess off, we'll lay them right there till we get them all done. 
Then I'll see y'all at the deep fryer. Fry oil is heated to about 350, 355 degrees. In go the first poblano. We're gonna fry these up till they're good and gold and crispy brown on that crust and then we'll set them over here on the side. And then remember there was that surprise? We're gonna deep fry some bacon too because remember that Texas Whopper had bacon on it. Now sure we got bacon in the meat, but I don't want the Burger King man to look down on me and think I didn't put no regular bacon on there too. You didn't know you could deep fry bacon. Oh yeah, it's probably the quickest and easiest way to fry bacon. Time now for the Cowboy versus the King. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't I mean, even know what to say. <laughs> if we was going into the boxing ring, you have to give it all, you know what I mean? But first of all, folks, I need to tell y'all too, just like we've done on every one of these videos that was a remake or something, I'm not making fun of these people's product. These people are doing a service to the community because they're feeding folks, and that's what it's about, them folks in that kitchen and working hard. We're just having some fun. We are. So we're going to cut right here. We're going to take a gander in there. So I mean, that's like a normal sized person burger. Well, I don't know what you just made. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever cooked burgers that thin, though. I mean, I'm going to give this a little mash. Viewers are going to say, I wish you wouldn't mash it. I'm going to have to mash it before I can take a bite of it. So we're going to get it mashed down in here just like this. We're going to go ahead and cut it, Mage, if that's all right. OK, Mage, you ready for this? The big reveal here. Now, Whoa. let's get this up here and take a look at it and see what's happening. I think there's a tremendous amount of flavor there, I do. I mean, when, when you look, everybody's sort of got the same thing going on here. And uh, so I'm just going to start right here. Can you wrap a lip around that? Oh, can I ever. Mm. That's the best burger I ever eat in my life. It, for real? I would put this up against the Oso oh Boys. No. Yes. The thing about it to me, folks, the star of the show is the ground chuck. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where you're going to get that great flavor of that meat, that bacon mixed in it. It just gives it a great touch. Let me chew this up. The flavor you get out of that deep fried poblano against all the rest of it, home run. Burger King, I thank you, brother. I'm going to tip my hat to you, but I think you just <laughs> lost the title fight right there. I do, buddy. And make you want to do the Burger King go go. Ho, 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 ho. And I'll tell you what, that burger was so good. I'm going to get right up here. <sighs> burger King. Mm. Good thing Eric is sponsoring this video because time I eat all that, I'm gonna have to have some bigger jeans, Shan, and bigger shirts too. We thank them so much for sponsoring this video. We do remember that links down there below to where you can what? Get 10% off of your purchase, you can. But it is with great pride, honor, and privilege that I tip my hat to all the servicemen and all the women and all the veterans that have kept that old flag of flying over camp no matter where we're at. Now, I've been in a little trouble, I have, and I've missed two weeks, and I'm sure sorry, folks. I need you to come in here real close, because what we can do, I'm going to give you a Cowboy Burger King hug. God bless you, each and every one. I'll see you down the Whopper Trail. Y'all are going to get the Burger King special, y'all. Here we go. Meiji, I don't know where Duker's at. Lulu, there you go. And Lulu, thank y'all for helping.